podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe from Startupery.io, your startup podcast and YouTube blog from Germany. Today, I do have the pleasure to have another Startup of the Month, this time Startup of the Month August, here with me by Frankfurt Forward. Welcome, Raphael. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. And you're here because you're doing a stupid thing called Startup, right? <laughs> yes, I do, yeah. That's true. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Compredict. Um, I've been uh, stalking you a little bit on LinkedIn. So basically, what I've seen you did, um, you did study engineering for most of your adult life, and you even did a PhD. Yes. And um, the Institute for Mechatronic Systems and Machine Building at Technical University Darmstadt. It's uh, one of the very good technical universities here in Germany. Um, I assume something from this, uh, from your PhD thesis um, was washing into the startup. Am I right? Um, actually, not from my PhD uh, thesis, from the PhD thesis of my um, colleague, which I shared uh, an office with. Stefan, uh, his, his PhD thesis is the, is the base of, of the idea we had for Compredict. Ah, I see. And um, surprisingly, here for Frankfurt, you guys are not doing a fintech, but rather you are working in the area of automotive, where we talked before and you told me about virtual sensors. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? What you guys are actually doing and how you can apply it? Yes, um, as you said, uh, we have developed something called virtual sensor for automotive ap application. So uh, what's a virtual sensor? A uh, virtual sensor is a piece of software. So, so it's purely software based, no hardware, which can measure additional values in a vehicle, which are not measured by the standard sensor. So a virtual sensor can, for instance, measure forces, torques, temperatures, electric loads, everything which acts on the components and damages the components of an automobile and is not measured directly by the standard sensors of the automobile or the vehicle or car or whatever. So basically, you can measure everything that makes a car go broke. Yes. Um, everything which is interesting from a durability engineering uh, standpoint. So uh, when you design a part uh, in durability engineering, you, you kind of um, identify the most critical um, place of, of, of the part, so, so the part of the component, I should say, like this. Um, and um, you measure the load, uh, like a torque or a force, which acts on, on this part of the, of the component, and you design um, accordingly. Um, so, so what we do is our virtual sensors measure the force of the torque at the most critical uh, part of the component. And that means uh, the most critical part is basically where it, it most likely will break. Yes, uh, basically the weakest part of the, the weakest part of, of the component. Yeah. Okay, now we have a lot of geek talk where I admittedly didn't understand anything at all. Sorry. Um, uh, let's try to put it in perspective for our viewers and for our listeners. Um, yes. What I understand is you have a simulation tool where you can put components of for example cars on under virtual duress and basically you can then observe how they will behave well i assume which would lead to much more durable cars and um maybe much more durable machines yeah, um, it's it's not a simulation tool. It's a, it's a tool to to gather as much data as possible from uh, real vehicles, which which are driven by real people um, on the streets. So so a virtual sensor is basically a piece of software which can 
um, record all the loads which occur du during regular driving. So, 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 so for instance, a very simple, uh, simple um, example. We do this for for a lot of parts in the in the vehicle, but a good example to explain is is a, a drive shaft. Every every vehicle has has, uh, has a drive shaft, um, and the um, load which acts on the drive shaft is the torque, which is not measured directly by a standard sensor of the vehicle. But uh, you, you measure a lot of other things in the vehicle. You measure, for instance, the wheel speeds, the uh, engine speeds, you measure some accelerations, and we use that data to calculate the torque which acts on the drive shaft. And uh, by this, you can, um, um, yeah, the connection has gone broke. Quality is good. Okay. Now, okay. Now, now I'm back. So, so by measuring the torque uh, with our virtual sensors on the drive shaft, you can predict how much longer it will it will last, how much remaining uh, lifetime the component has, and when will it fail. And uh, if you're a durability engineer at an uh, automotive OEM, you can determine how much over design there is and uh, if you if there's po a po a potential to make uh, the drive shift a little bit lighter and save the uh, material okay i see uh, for everybody who doesn't know oem is uh, original equipment manufacturers it's like the bosches of the world that supply parts for the big automotive companies or continental mm -hmm. continental yeah that are mm. actually doing the the the, the yeah. parts and um and, try yeah but and and uh, by by oem um, okay maybe i'll use, uh, use the word wrong but by oem i mean um as well the car manufacturers uh, not, uh, mm. not only the suppliers but the car manufacturers as well Both. i see and um Actually, when you've been talking, I've been busy Googling uh -huh. and I realized drive shaft is basically the area where the force is applied um, towards uh, the wheels. So basically, it's one of the very important parts that makes a car drive really to yeah. apply it's a, force. It's, it's, it's a connection between the, the engine, the combustion engine or the electric motor, depending on which kind of car you drive and the wheels. Very uh, sim Very simple. Uh, that is yeah. good. And, and for yeah. everybody who like who doesn't uh, know uh, what are you talking about, go down here in the show notes. I'll link a Wikipedia article. <laughs> All right. Okay, I see. And um, now we know what you guys are doing. How is it now applied? Basically, you're working with OEMs. You're working with automotive companies. Are you looking for new cooperation partners? Uh, how is it going there? Yes, of, of course. I mean, we're, we're a startup. Uh, we always look for new co cooperation uh, partners. Um, uh, um, basically, our software, um, uh, our virtual sensors will be installed in the vehicle. So, so it it's, can run directly on um, existing control units in the vehicle. Um, so, so if um, we, we have the test versions of our software, uh, if um, any OEM is interested, we can, we can set up a first test license for, for our software quite quickly and, and start a, a first test with a, with a limited number of vehicles. Considering the fact that I am running a very international podcast with mm -hmm. usually less than 25% um, coming from every given country, is there like a limitation for your contracts where you can have clients from or is it basically globally? No, we already have clients from all over the world. So, so, so we have clients from Asia, uh, Europe, of, of course. Uh, we uh, started um, first projects in the US as well. So, so uh, yeah, we, we have basically right now clients all over the world. Can you tell us how many clients you got? Uh, it's it's around at the at the moment uh, running um, tests. Uh, it's around ten clients. Mm -hmm. And we talked before how you guys are financed. Are you looking for financing? 
Um, yes, uh, we have done a first seed, uh, uh, seed investment round back in end of 2017, so two years ago. Um, right now, we're looking to, to raise a seed plus or a, sm a smaller series A um, to, to continue our growth to, to uh, um, um, uh, how should I say, improve our sales organization, improve our pro product and uh, continue growing. Yeah. Well, I see. Only thing left for me to say is thank you very much. Best of luck. And um, hope that somebody reaches out to you. To All right, to yeah. You. Yeah, I hope so too, yeah. Thank you for, for having me on the podcast. So it was a pleasure. Completely my pleasure. Thank you very much. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.